What is up, everybody? My name is Matt. I'm the Awakening Angler, and we're, well, I'm on my way in. I'm on Little Lake this morning. I got the big barge behind me I just passed. Come, come all the way across the lake. He's headed to Buffalo. It's some sort of bridge going to the new Bill Stadium. It says Ralph Wilson Bridge or something. Um, I've seen a few things on Facebook about it. And then this morning I saw it coming across the lake when I was out there. It's pretty cool. It's huge. It's two barges with a tug pushing it. Um, but let's get to, down to business. Water temperature out there is 77 degrees today. It's come up a lot with this little heat wave. Um, stiff east wind. Stiff east wind. Um, blow. It wasn't this morning. I left the dock at 5 and... Uh, made it out there where I was going. I went farther than I was, would have normally because it's, it's howling now. I mean, it's 10 to 15, maybe a little more. She's building. Um, I went out in nothing. It, it wasn't glass, but it was just a ripple. Um, and so I went farther east than I normally do. That's pretty cool. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. Good, you. Sorry. Mike Gunther, boat deal. Headed out. Towing a boat. Um, anyway, so I went long uh, and I said, okay, it's time to start fishing these reefs. It's summertime. They should be up on those reefs scouring for food and, and whatnot. And, uh, So I went out, I got on my first hump, I made a drift over it, I caught two, a keeper and I lost one. And I still can't, wind hadn't picked up yet, I spun around, I spot locked at the downwind side of it, and I started casting into the wind, and it was a, it was a shiver kind of day. It was all shivers all the time. Uh, the shiver minnow did its job, I had the, the JJ McPuffin stuff in loving, it's the purple, white chartreuse with the pink dots and then I had the craw which was the red and orange uh, with the gold in the middle that one was the chandelier style let me hold on you say what's chandelier style Matt well it's this with the bladed treble underneath. And then I also put a flapper blade on the back. Uh, which one did I put it on? Well, I must have lost it, I guess. Anyway, I put a little flapper blade on here and a, and a bead over the top of it, a soft plastic bead so it pegs it. Um, and that one, that one did some work this morning. That one did some work. Um, had five, four keepers, three shorts, and one big perch in about the first hour. Then the wind really started to pick up. It was tough to hold spot lock. Um, it got really bouncy. I stayed in that same reef structure and I went to two other spots and I didn't do anything. Um, and that was probably 8, 8.30. It was really starting to blow. So I said, ah, no biggie, I'll head in. Then I got, you know, wrapped up in seeing the barge and stuff. So, um, fun morning, fun morning. When you get those fish up. Now I was on top of this reef, but it wasn't like it was sticking out of the water or nothing. It was still 20, 25 feet deep. Um, at the very top but it was 30 all the way around it uh, it came up a little more than that it probably came up to the to the mid to low 20s low to mid 20s yeah um, but I was snapping pretty aggressively mixing in a double tap now and then and they weren't shy about it this morning now once the wind picked up it seemed to it either moved them or um, it shut them off I'm not sure but it was fun for the first hour to two hours this morning. It was a lot of fun. 
So, come that big old barge right behind me. All right, I'll call it a day. Uh, happy hump day. And I will see everybody tomorrow morning. Keep your tip up.